Let's bring in Bernstein Global Wealth Management's Seth Masters and Euro-Specific Capital's Peter Schiff. Seth, let's start with you. Fed or no Fed, you still have a rather bold prediction, Dow 20,000. Now, we put a chart together from some of your numbers, just looking at where stocks were value-wise in October 07 to 2013. And uh, you've got stocks were at a 15 forward PE, and now they're at less than 14. You say the debt to equity was 63% of debt way back then. Now it's only 34% debt to equity. And uh, you point out that the yields on stocks are, you know, a few points higher than they were in 07. But the Dow was down 180 points today. It was down 200 yesterday. Are you wrong? Well, I think days like this are good for investors because of the frenetic feeling in the market. Markets are emotional. They're about human expression of insecurity often. And today's a great example. But the underlying phenomenon that we've seen has been triggered ironically by a Fed statement that the economy is on track to do better than expected, that the risk of a downside event is less, which means, if anything, that our forecast that Dow will hit 20,000 by the end of the decade, I think, is even more likely. Okay. And uh, Peter Schiff, welcome back. It's good to see you again. And you, of course, have been, you know, hanging crepe for quite a few years now. What do you think of the markets today? And what about Dow 20,000 by when did you say? By the end of, of the decade. Peter? Well, 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 the question is, where's gold going to be if that happens? But in the short run, I think the market is going to keep on falling until the Fed acknowledges that it's got the economy wrong. Because this whole recovery that the Fed believes it created with the QE is evaporating before it even dials it back. I think that the next thing the Fed is going to do is add to the QE. They're not going to take away the, 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 the QE. They're going to put more crack in the pipe. The market just hasn't figured that out because if the Fed takes away the stimulus, you know, it's basing the whole recovery on the housing market. The housing market is about to implode again and go for new lows okay. uh, because of rising mortgage rates right. and speculative buyers turning into sellers. Okay, Seth, your bullish uh, forecast for stocks, because you think the Fed continues easing or is it because you think the economy really is healing? Very much because the economy is healing. What we're seeing is a very modest recovery that's lasted already as long as most recoveries and has the potential to last a lot longer because it's been so modest. There's still yeah. a lot of um, basically capacity in, right. in the system. And the fact is real estate is recovering now very late in the cycle, which is unusual. Real estate is usually the beginning of a cycle. Right. And that is one of the things that we think is just helping to begin to turn Good. the tide to extend this recovery okay. longer. Hey, Peter Schiff, yeah. you've been telling the, us the for years now to buy recovery. gold. Peter, you've been it's, telling us for years to buy gold, and gold is now down 27 or 30 percent from its recent highs. Why is gold down today? Why isn't gold a safe haven when stocks are plunging? Well, you know, people are making a mistake by selling their gold. I mean, it doesn't only go up. People are doing the wrong thing. People are misinterpreting what's happening in the economy, just like your guest is. The U.S. economy isn't recovering. It's in worse shape now than it was before the Fed began this crazy experiment. You know, all we've managed to do with record amounts of stimulus is, is blow a little air back into a deflating real estate bubble. And we're calling that a recovery. All of the extra consumer confidence in spending is a result of the phony wealth that people think they've attained because the stock and bond markets have been temporarily propped up. Well, okay. the props are only being threatened to be removed. Right. They're not even being taken away, and they're already imploding. Pretty okay. soon the Fed is going to have to, uh, you know, cry uncle. It can't let the bond market continue to inf implode and mortgage rates rise. The Fed is going to have to step up the QE. And when it does that, that's when gold could really take off because then it's like an official admission by the Fed that we have QE infinity, that okay. there is no end in sight All right. because the phony recovery that they've created needs continuous QE to, to sustain itself. It's all souffle. Okay, I've got you. Okay, one last thing for you, Seth. You know, Peter Schiff and Europe Pacific have been telling us to buy gold. They told us to buy it at 1800 It's now down below $1,300. Is Peter Schiff wrong or is he just early? And someday he is going to be right about all this. I think he's wrong. Well, I think I that gold is just a commodity. Also, it's a volatile that. commodity. It, as we've seen in the last few years, it doesn't protect against inflation, and it doesn't even necessarily protect against market downdrafts. At least not and today. What, and what we do see is that companies are earning record profits. That's not an illusion. And they're getting their balance sheets in great shape, and so are consumers. I think there's a lot of legs still okay. in the market. And, folks, there you have it. Dichotomy defined. Thank you very much for being with us on this very frantic day. Seth Masters and Peter Schiff.